Hi, welcome to our new lecture, Conformal Mapping. In this topic, we will look at the geometric notion of the conform conformal maps. It will turn out that all the analytic functions are automatically conformal. And when we are considering the definition, a function f from g to c, which has where G is an open connected set and uh, if it has the two property, the angle preserving property and uh, limit set tends to A mod F set minus F A divided by mod set minus A is existing. Then we say that this map is said to be a conformal map. Okay. Then angle preserving property means what is the property? What is that? Angle preserving means consider this geometrically we have to look through that. This is a Z plane and this is W plane and F is a map from which maps these curves to W plane let gamma 1 and gamma 2 be two curves in set plane and uh, eta 1 and eta 2 are the images of this gamma 1 and gamma 2 respectively by the map F. And uh, this is uh, this blue line is actually the slope corresponding to this one and this is a point suppose this is a point set naught. And uh, this point is W dot. Okay. And this is mapped to set naught is mapped to W naught and gamma 1 is mapped to eta 1. Gamma 2 mapped to eta 2. Okay. This is a curve of gamma 2. Then since the, the uh, this is angle b between these slopes is theta 1 and here it is theta 2. Then conformal means, what is the meaning of this two? The angle preserving property means that this theta 1 must be same as what theta 1 is equal to what theta 2. Theta 1 must be same as theta 2. And, uh, and also uh, this limit exist means f that center exists at this point. A is an arbitrary point in this. This means uh, this is a theta 1 and equal to theta 2 and uh, the sense of rotation must be same. This is suppose this is in this direction and this must be in the same direction anti-clockwise. The sense of rotation is same and its magnitude. This is its magnitude. Magnitude are same and also the set, uh, limit set tends to a mode is f set minus f a divided by mode set minus a is existing at all points in that domain. Then we say that uh, this type of mapping is a conformal map. Consider the map which is not conformal. That is consider f of z is equal to z bar. Then you can understand what you mean by the conformal. F set is equal to set bar, right? And suppose uh, this is set, set is equal to, uh, set is actually R e power i theta. So F set is equal to what? R e power minus i theta. And in the set plane, suppose this is a point set, then this is a straight line in this. This is a point set. This is R and this is an equation theta. Okay. And using the function F, we can see that uh, what will be that a set bar? Set bar is R e power minus i theta so at the distance r and suppose this is minus theta means this is a minus theta this is r this is z bar okay actually 
the theta is its magnitude is same theta modulus of this theta two are same but what about this sense of rotation in this the sense of rotation is actually this is different because uh, this is in this clockwise direction and this is in the anti clockwise direction so this example is is not a conformal map this is not a conformal map And also, we have a remark that if f is analytic and f dot set not equal to zero for any set, then we say that f is conformal mapping. That is, if f is analytic and f dot set not equal to zero, that is, we have seen from the theorem before, uh, then f is said to be conformal. That is. Uh, The theorem says that if f from G to C is analytic and to f precedes the angles at each point set not of G, then f dash set not is not equal to zero. That means f dash is exist. Okay, and also it precedes the angles. Right. If f dash set not is not equal to zero and f is analytic, then f precedes the angle at each point. That means Uh, the map is conformal. Okay, the converse is also true. Means f is if f is conformal, uh, if f is an analytic function and it is conformal mapping, then we can see that uh, the f dot set is not equal to zero. So we can see that uh, a function f of z is conform. The the conditions for the conformal mapping are. the conditions for the conformal mappings are first one is f of z is analytic f of z is analytic and the second one is f dot set not not equal to zero for any set not is in omega which is the domain okay then we say that the, the map is a Conformal mapping, and also we have seen that f of z is equal to z bar is not conformal mapping. It's not a conformal mapping, and can you say that from this assembly we can say that f of z is equal to z? That's a trivial map, which is a conformal mapping. How? This is the conformal. Uh, this is mapped to set itself. So this is a theta. This is said. This is in the same direction, theta, and the same sense of rotation and the same magnitude. So uh, this is a conformal map. Okay, so we can conclude that for any analytic function with a f dash set, set not not equal to zero for some point set not, then we say that it is conformal at the set not, and the set not is if the set not is arbitrary, that that is that means that this is true for any point in the domain. We can see that this mapping is a conformal mapping. Moving on to the examples of the conformal mapping. Firstly, we we have to consider f of z is equal to e raised to z. Second, f of z is equal to cosine z. F of z is equal to sine z. And this is f of z is equal to e raised to z. So this can be denoted by Z is equal to x plus i y. So this is e raised to x into e raised to i y, and this is e raised to x into cos y plus i sine y. This is e raised to x into cos y plus i into e raised to x sine y, and we can see that this u equal to e raised to x cos y, and v equal to e raised to x sine y. Okay. 
we have to consider the map x is equal to a x is equal to a is mapped to which graph what what will be the image of this x is equal to a under the mapping f z is equal to e raised to z that is we are going to look through okay so x is equal to a we have to put these x is equal to a, a in our conditions so this is u equal to e raised to x cos y v equal to e raised to x sin y i can substitute here u by e raised to x is equal to from this i can see that u by e raised to x is equal to cos y and v by e raised to x is equal to sin y okay meanwhile this u by when x is equal to a u by e raised to a is equal to cos y v by e raised to a is equal to sin y this e raised to a is a constant so we can we know that the cos square y plus sin square y is equal to 1 substitute cos y and re sin y is u by e raised to a and v by e raised to a so this is the result we we are we will get which implies u square plus v square equal to e raised to a whole square u square plus v square equal to a raised to a whole square and which means we know that that is a circle of radius radius is e raised to a and the center is 0 0 consider the line x is equal to a this is our x equal to a line okay then what will be the image of this x is equal to a when this z equal to 3 is mapped to z equal to z3 is a point a complex point on this line segment and what will be the image this is a z plane and this is our w plane this is z plane and this is w plane suppose this is our x is equal to a x equal to a curve okay this is head plane and this is w plane and when we are moving through these x is equal to a see this when we are moving through these x is equal to a here a equal to 1 actually okay suppose a is i am changing this a a is changed it to two then what will be the image what will be the image okay this is a circle again that's a circle with a radius e raised to this is a actually radius is e raised to a e raised to 2 is this one radius is e raised to 2 so the circle is again i am changing a equal to 0 what happened to the set a equal to 0 okay so a equal to 0 means that is a set uh, y axis e raised to zero actually okay so there is a circle with a radius e raised to zero is a one so this is our circle in this and what happened to this a is equal to a equal to one okay this is our a equal to 1 okay clear
So the image is actually, uh, this is not, this is incorrectly uh, plotted this. And here, this, these circles, uh, these circles are the images corresponding to these x is equal to a. And what will be the image corresponding to this y is equal to a? This is our y equal to b. This is y equal to b. Set one is a point on this curve. And what will be the image? So we can go through that. Here I am choosing this b is equal to 1. So we can see that this is a ray actually uh, at some theta. Suppose this is a ray actually, but b is equal to 1. And I have changed this b is equal to 0. What will be this? So when b is equal to 0 means that is e raised to x into e raised to i y, i y is 0, that is e raised to y equal to b, then y equal to 0 means that there is a x axis along. Okay. Since it is e raised to x is always positive, so e raised to x means that there is a ray at a 0 angle. e raised to x into e raised to i by means that there is a, uh, there is a ray with e raised to x and at an angle y from the positive x axis. Okay, here positive from positive u axis, it is uh, the angle is 0 when you buy equal to 0, then uh, this is a u, u axis itself. Next, I am changing this b into 3. What will be this? This is a gainer. Okay, this is again a eh? this ray and when b equal to b equal to 2 this is a ray with some angle and this is b equal to 0 this is a ray okay so the image of this egg y equal to b is the ray okay with infinite ray with the angle y so also consider the series to set maps x is equal to a on to the circle with the center at origin and radius is e raised to a. And if, if, if f of z is equal to e raised to x plus i y, e raised to x into e raised to i y, when x is equal to a, this is e raised to a into e raised to i y, mod f z is equal to mod e raised to a, e raised to mod e raised to a is same as e raised to a itself because it is positive always. So uh, this is e raised to a, mod e raised to i y is 1. So since mod e raised to i y is equal to 1, this is equal to e raised to a. So this is a circle with the center at 0, 0 and the radius is e raised to a itself. So when y equal to b, this is mod f is equal to r, r actually mod e raised to x. And this e raised to x is always positive. When x is negative, then e raised to x is always positive. So, this is R with radius is varies from 0 to infinity. Okay. So, I B, this B is, it's y, y equal to B ray, B line. And this is the B, uh, this is the infinite ray. And also note that, uh, what, what are the properties of this erased to X, erased to set? And what is the difference between the e raised to z and the e raised to x? Exponential in real exponential and complex exponential. Actually, for 0 to, this is y here. When y varies from 0 to 2 pi, this e raised to z is e raised to x into e raised to y y. Again, from 2 pi to 4 pi, this e raised to z is varies from e raised to the same value actually. For, for the next 2 pi interval, 
4 pi to 6 pi, the same value. So, this is actually not 1 bun. So, e raised to z have more values. So, the same value to map it to more values, more than two values. Like this. Okay. This is a point in 2 pi interval. This is the same point in 2 pi, uh, next to 2 pi interval. This is the same point in next to 2 pi interval. So here itself, this mapped to the three points. Then y varies from, y varies infinite. Okay. And in order to make it one bundles, then only we can, uh, we can say the analyticity and all other properties. Okay. So, in order to make it one bundles, we are choosing a strip, horizontal strip with the width less than 2 pi. Width is less than 2 pi. When y equal to b, this b varies from here, I have substituted that that is from minus pi to minus pi to plus pi. This is a plus pi, plus pi and and this is the line plus pi, y equal to plus pi and this is the line y equal to minus pi. Then when this is, when this is uh, y equal to minus pi, look into the, this w plane where this complex plane is moving here look here that is a set to that moves through the negative real axis and uh, when y becomes pi this is a straight line and again this this moves from when we are moving through these lines, this map will be, look at here, map will be the negative real axis. And what will be the, oh, for all other values, what will be the, this is ray here. Okay. Again, I am changing this. This is a ray. This is a whole entire complex plane, except uh, when we are including this minus pi and plus pi. When minus pi and plus pi, these two are mapped to the negative real axis. So, what we, we have seen that from the GeoGebra data that is mapped to minus pi i and plus pi i that are mapped to the entire complex plane except at a, except at a, a negative uh, when pi i pi and minus pi is including then uh, we can see that uh, this minus pi i and plus pi is mapped to the negative real axis this here the negative real axis. Uh, here we are take, taking the interval minus pi strictly less than y strictly less than pi. That is means that two lines are not included. So the image will be will consist of the whole entire complex plane with the excluding the negative real axis. So f of g must be suitable. C minus C minus Z default Z such that Z is less than or equal to C. These type of uh, points are excluded from the entire complex plane. And uh, this S maps the vertical segments. Here we can see that. Uh, this set is equal to c plus i y minus pi less than y less than pi in this interval. Okay. This x is equal to c actually straight line. Straight line segment in this x is equal to c in between this minus pi and plus pi. So that are mapped to what? E raised to e raised to 
c into e raised to i by this y varies from minus pi to pi. So this is a circle excluding this point. This point is excluded and varies from minus pi to plus pi. And this y equal to d is d varies from minus pi to pi. And suppose this is a di, y equal to d straight line. This is y equal to y equal to d. Okay, so suppose this is our straight line segment. D and uh, this is the angle D. Okay. So this is a ray actually, this is an infinity of ray. Okay. This is an image. Consider the principal branch of logarithm. We have seen earlier that uh, the properties of the erased set and uh, it's mapping, conformal map. And in that we can see that uh, that mapped to, mapped from this G. G is actually, what was that G? G is said such that minus pi less than imaginary set less than pi. Okay. This G to Omega, that is a mapping from mapping of e raised to set. Principal branch of logarithm is just to reverse that. Okay. Omega to G. And uh, in the case of exponential, the mapping was vertical segments to onto circles. Here it is circles onto vertical segments. And here Raise onto horizontal lines. In the exponential case, horizontal lines to raise. 